way, so here I'll bring you along for the ride. Um, this whole thing, this actually pops out pretty easily. Getting it back in might be a little bit difficult on the door side here, but a little bit of soapy water, uh, and this will probably pop back in pretty easily. So what I'm gonna try to do uh, is this here that runs to the uh, to the mirror control. What they have you do is just run it like on the outside of this uh, rubber piece here, like through through this. Have you put your hole, put a hole in it? Which is I don't I don't want to do that. There's no reason you can't run this inside of here. So part of the process is going to be. Uh, getting something through this that I can pull this through with and I, shit. I've got some uh, Lubrication some wire pulling lube if I need it I'm gonna pull these ends off tape this up So it's nice and small pull it through and put the ends back on it's not too difficult to get these out There's just, just need a little screwdriver So let's see if I can do this. So I'm gonna use this to kind of go through here like so and if I can get it to come out so up here th this end is taped so I should just be able to like push through that tape and create kind of a, an opening there. And this is just a really big zip tie. <laughs> Something stiff. Uh, get there. there we go. Okay, so it looks like I'm through most of that. So pulling this whole thing out kind of makes it so you can kind of straighten it out and be able to push through a little bit easier. Let's see, if I can pop out this clip here, I should get some more length. There we go. So you gotta be careful with these, the edges where it goes in and out of the body here that's not so sharp that it's gonna cause us to get cut or something. There we go, I see the, uh, I see it there. So I see it underneath this black stuff. So I'm gonna cut that. Right here. Honestly, this is just, it's going to take like an extra half hour to probably do this whole process versus just shoving it through the hole, but I would rather not have to deal with the looks of it and possible water ingress later. So this is there. I undid the clip here and up here just to give myself a few extra inches here. And then this way too, uh, where it's sticking through here. So this isn't too sharp, but you just got to be careful. Um, but there's some tape right here where it's kind of setting up on that. But basically, like if you're going to do this, then don't do it half fast. Okay, that's enough tape off of there. I'll put some fresh tape over it, but now I have this here. And it's basically a straight shot through there. So what I can do is, hopefully I can get this to work. Cut this off. Um, I need to take a picture of these. So I know what order they went in here. There's one. There we go. Don't lose those. There we go. Let's see if I can find my tape. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is tape these wires to this so I can hopefully pull it through there. The issue they're gonna run into is that this is gonna fight going through here do it through here it's not gonna work too well so let me pull this back out it's easy to go through there I'll just do this. so I need to go through the hole down here first uh, through the path that the wire is going to take because I don't have any easy way to get the wire back out of here so then this can go back through here Easier the second time. All right, now it's back. Let's get this lined up again. A little bit more of this. And let's see here. And there we go. Look at that. 
it's through. Now I need to go get a rag or something. Uh, I get some shop towels and clean this up. And we're through there. I just gotta connect it back on the other side, get there, put the clips back on it, didn't get mangled up or anything. And we're good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna put all the this stuff back in the holes um, so I can kind of get this uh, this taped up and sealed back up and everything. So these are pretty easy, just to get through one at a time. Fine, I'm gonna come back through here. Like so, and just be careful not to drag the wires on the edges of the holes. Uh, like I said before, they can be sharp and you don't wanna scratch wire or cause a short or something like that later on. All right, so there we go, there's all those. This with it. And there's also a little arrow on here on both of these for which way is up. So make sure you put it back in here that you put it the same way so it's not twisted or something. Because then when you when you close your door, it could cause an issue with uh, with that. So I'm going to feed this through here, and I'll undo it here in a minute. What I want to do is pull uh, some of the extra slack with it here from this side. The nice thing is up here, so where this is, uh, there's a, enough slack there, and I could just so that I could undo this if I needed to. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, this just kind of tucks up in here and everything is out of the way. On this side, pull this through. And then we've got this here. So this whole thing I want to tape back up. So that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> This, uh, this is all taped up. There's our new wire. Um, and everything down here is nice and taken care of. Plug these back in when I get done here and we're good to go. There we go. Uh, it should kind of look like that. Uh, you know, flush here, flush over here. All right, now I can go ahead and get this all connected back up and get the door card back together. All right, here's a quick demonstration. Uh, the install is done. Everything's tidied up. So the truck is unlocked right now. Like it now, if I press this, the mirrors will close automatically. And if I unlock it, mirrors open. Now, if I happen to have the windows down, there you go. There's also the auto up down, so if you uh, press and hold for like a half a second, it'll automatically go up and down. So turn that off. All right, so now if I, if I use a key fob or I use the finger thing and close it, it'll close the mirrors and then the back windows will go up and then the front windows go up and there you go so now if you want to uh, vent the windows on the key fob basically it's just a uh, lock unlock lock and it'll crack the windows if you do that again lock unlock lock 
it'll crack, crack them a little bit further. It'll keep doing that as long as you keep doing that combination. If I unlock, lock, unlock, it'll put the windows all the way down and unlock the vehicle. If you want to leave them down, but lock it, you hit lock and then lock again as the windows are basically going up and it'll stop it. So, so that again, so I'll unlock it, unlock, lock, unlock, to put them down the rest of the way. And then I'll lock. Like that. So when you hit lock, the windows will go up normally. If you hit it again, it'll uh, stop the windows from going up essentially. Otherwise, the rest of the instructions or everything are with it or on the website for the unit. It's pretty straightforward to install. It's just be careful with the trim pieces. So the trim piece that goes here, there's a clip that goes inside this hole. When I pulled this off, it broke that clip off or that part of the trim piece off. So I have it being or I have it glued downstairs. I'm waiting for that to dry so I can kind of gently kind of put it back in here. Hopefully it'll stay. Otherwise, I'll just reorder a new piece of trim. It shouldn't be that expensive, I'd hope. The functionality of this is still usable. I think if you leave this like in the closed position, then it just overrides whatever setting that's on. But yeah, the wire goes all back down in here. All the trim pieces are in and it's fed through the original door uh, wire and grommet system there. So everything is tidy. You don't see any wires. It looks like it's OEM. And it works pretty good, so there we go.